Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be making some homemade meatloaf. So I've been making meatloaf for a long time and I'm actually going to try to recreate the Stouffer's recipe because I've had it um, before and it was so good but I figured I could make it better homemade. So what we have here is about a cup of breadcrumbs, an egg, some milk, green pepper, onion powder, pepper, and salt. And we have two packages of ground beef and a package of gr brown gravy mix. And I've never tried that before so we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a shot. So here I am, I'm gonna start whisking the mixture together. It's gonna to start out a little bit dry, but that's fine, we'll add more liquids as we go. We just wanna make sure everything is perfectly incorporated first. Um, I went ahead and added about a half cup more milk, so that's a whole cup in this recipe. So it's a cup of milk, a whole cup of breadcrumbs, and one egg. And I'm just whisking everything to combine, making sure I get those edges and everything. Here it is, I'm throwing in my seasonings. Um, you could go ahead and skip this step if you wanted, but I just think that it makes everything taste um, well seasoned throughout, and it just makes everything so much better. Here I am throwing the mixture in, and I'm about to throw those peppers in. And I'm going to throw both the packages of ground beef in there, and I'm gonna start whisking that to combine. The great thing about this meatloaf is you really don't need to dig in there, or get some fancy misker, whisker sorry, out. You can just bring it all together. I greased a cast iron, you don't have to do that. You can totally use a baking pan. And I went ahead and I put it in there and I molded it into a loaf type shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this brown gravy mix and since I honestly don't think it will get thick or good and I'm recording this ahead, um, afterward by the way and it didn't um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sprinkle this seasoning on top just so just in case if it doesn't thicken up uh, it didn't um, we'll go ahead and we'll have that gravy taste inside the meatloaf um, I just feel like it will bring everything together as well so I went ahead and sprinkled like a little bit of that on top and what I'm gonna do is Put the rest of it in there with some water and go ahead and put it into the oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to raise the heat at the end. So here it was after being there for about an hour and a half on 350 degrees. Um, maybe a little bit less. Honestly, don't remember. You just got to keep an eye on it. All ovens are different. Um, I'm basting it with those juices just because I want to stay moist on the inside. And it looks delicious. I'm just going to keep basting it until I feel like it's ready to go back in there. And it will be done. Wow, that was fast. It was really delicious. It was one of the best meatloaves I've ever made. Here I was already taking a bite as it was done. I definitely recommend that you guys try this. Um, dinner was served.